Hey, what's up guys? Monerous here, and today I'm bringing you a quick video on how to install Tale of Kingdoms and Mo Creatures for Minecraft 1.0 in the current version 1.1.6, 1.4.6, 1. 1. whatever it is right now. Um, so, it took me a while to find all these, but it's actually relatively simple to install, and it's just so you can get the little Mo Creatures to drop coins when you kill them. Um, it, it works in 1.4.5 still, I don't think they've done 1.4.6 at this time, but they probably will by the time you guys watch this. But, uh, the only thing is they haven't connected Mo Creatures in the Tale of Kingdom, so I thought I'd make this video because a lot of people are confused on how to do this. So I'm just going to show you. So first what you're going to do is you're going to go to your, your, uh, roaming folder, which you can get by going here, typing in percent app data percent and there's your roaming I already have mine out and so this is what you'll see first you want to either delete this dot minecraft or if you have saves and stuff you want to keep just move it onto your desktop or move it into a folder that's what I generally do but this is just my test to make sure that the animals dropped coins so I'm just going to delete this delete okay once you've done that you can minimize that and just run minecraft so you get a fresh dot minecraft folder I always do this um, when I install a mod because I like to uh, I just like to have um, a safe new one that I don't care if I mess it up or not. So wait for it to download Mojang good. So then you can close this. Go back to your roaming folder. Open this up. Oh, actually, you don't have to do that yet. Just leave it in the rolling folder. Then you're going to run this, MVC, which is Minecraft version changer. I'll put a link to all this stuff because this is what we're going to be using right here. I'll put a link to all of it in the description. So when you get Minecraft version changer, you're just going to run it. It's going to load Minecraft version changer. Select a version. You're going to go down to find Minecraft 1.0. This one, I'm going to click on it, and then you're just going to hit change. Wait for it to change it all. Good, successful. So you can just close this, and we're done with that. Uh, run Minecraft just to make sure it's in 1.0. Log in. 1.0, perfect. So now you're going to go to your roaming folder, open up your .minecraft, open your bin, and then use 7-zip or WinRAR, whichever one you have, to open your uh, minecraft.jar. So open that. And then you're going to go to your mod loader 1.0. Make sure you have mod loader 1.0 and not the latest. So then you're going to do the same thing, open archive, and you're just going to First, you're going to delete uh, the meta imp from your minecraft.jar. So just click that. You can either right click and hit delete or just hit delete up here. Press OK. Then you're going to get go to your mod loader. Oops, don't rename it. You're going to highlight everything like that. You can either drag, click and drag or you can just hit the first one, hold shift and hit the down arrow. And you're just going to drag it over. It's going to ask are you sure. Push yes. Then you can close mod loader open up audio mod same thing highlight all this drag it in are you sure yes close now here I just like to test to make sure um, minecraft is still working up to this point so log in good still up and going so now you're going to go back to your bin to your minecraft.jar open archive again and now you're going to go to the GUI API, 7-zip, open archive, highlight all of this goodness, drag it in, make sure, yes, X, now you're going to go to custom mob spawner, same thing. So basically it's just a lot of clicking and dragging. Are you sure? Yes. 
Now this one's a little different for Doctor's Ark Smell Creatures. I'm gonna, all right. You can go to 7-Zip again, open archive. But now you're going to double click on mods and open this up. Now you have all of this, you're going to want to highlight all of it. Make sure you have all of it, otherwise it won't work properly. So if you have all of it, just drag it in. Are you sure? Yes. Good. So now you're done with this. Close. Close. Gonna go back to your bin. Hit back so you can see all your stuff. You're gonna go to your you're gonna open up Doctor's Ark Small Creatures. Double click on it. You're gonna open up resources and there's a thing that says mod in it. You're gonna take the mod, drag it in drag it into the resources in your dot minecraft folder copy to resources it says that it already exists do you want to replace it yes okay so now you can just um, you're done with this doctor's arcs um, minimize this I'm gonna run minecraft again just to make sure mo creatures is good and working Alright, so I'm sure it's working in the game since it got me to this screen. So I'm hit X again. Now for the last part, you're just going to open up your dot .minecraft, or your minecraft.jar again. Open archive. Now you're just going to go to Tale of Kingdoms, where it is. Tale of Kingdoms. Open archive. I'm going to start up here at Tiber Mod. And I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and drag it in. Sure. Yes. Copying. You can close both of these now. And run Minecraft. Log in. I'll just demonstrate that it works. Single player. Create new world. New world. Create new world. Let it build the terrain. Start new conquest. So look, it worked. And I already know the Mo Creatures thing worked because I tried it out on my own and again I said it dropped coins. So yeah, I hope I hope this video was helpful for all of you who are having trouble with it. Um, I'll get this up as soon as I can, and, uh, yeah, have fun playing Tale of Kingdoms again, guys. Catch you next time. Oh, wait, please, please like and subscribe if this helped you. Comment if it helped you. If you have any questions, comment. I'll try to help you as soon as I can, but again, I'm, I'm a lot busy with school and stuff. But, yeah, catch you guys next time.